Hello, beautiful soul. It's Kirsten with Kismet, and I am so incredibly happy to be here with you today. Oh my gosh, if you see that big hair hanging there, <laughs> isn't that lovely? Get rid of that. So it's time once again for our fabulous weekly affirmation, and this week does not disappoint. So here we go. I have the knowledge and power to make good choices. Beautiful petunias. I have the knowledge and power to make good choices. So does this ever happen to you? Occasionally it happens to me. And kind of like decision paralysis. You have a choice you have to make. Whether it be a change in a relationship, something that's not working out so good, a friend you need to dump, or perhaps your job isn't satisfying anymore, your boss has been riding your bum, and it's time for a change, or maybe you just feel stuck. You just feel stuck, and you don't know what's next, but you know you need to do something differently. And instead of just sitting down, assessing what's going on in your life, and making a decision and taking action, you do everything else possible. You clean under your refrigerator. You procrastinate the heck out of it. You just refuse to make a decision, any decision. Instead, you do the laundry, you go out with your girlfriends, you may decide to cut your hair instead. I mean, there are so many things, but that one decision that's weighing on your mind you can't, for the life of you, make a choice. And the thing about that is that procrastination, that putting it off, all that is is fear, baby. And the fear isn't real. Because whatever choice you make, you are actually making the best choice for you in that moment based upon all the information that you have available in that moment. You cannot make a bad choice because in every second of your life, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Granted, some choices may lead you down a path that leads on this helter-skelter journey where you learn a ton of crap because the decision you made may have led to a bit of a mess but you were still supposed to learn those lessons. So it's not a bad outcome, it's the outcome you needed. So what I'm trying to explain is that you have the power to make good choices. Every choice you make is a good choice. Again, because it's based on the information you have in that moment and what you can do to help guarantee that it's the best choice is to listen to yourself. Listen to your body, your mind, your soul. If you are making a choice and you feel sick to your stomach, you're not a fool. You know it's not the good choice for you. If you are making a choice and you feel lighter and brighter and expanded and excited, heck, you know that's the right choice for you. And if you're in that middle place where you're not sure, that's when you really need to go a little deeper. Ask yourself the question, is this the right choice for me? Actually phrase it this way, this is the right choice for me. It's time for me to take that job. See how that feels. If that feels good then your intuition is telling you to go that way. If it feels like you're tight and sick, then your intuition is telling you not to go that way. You have the power to make great choices. All you need to do is to listen to your intuition, take action, and follow the path. Because again, you're exactly where you need to be. So there shouldn't be any fear around the choice you need to make. Because you are where you're supposed to be so that you can grow and expand 
in the way that you need to grow and expand. So this is Kirsten with Kismet, wishing you all the love and light in the world, baby. I hope you have an amazing week. Take care.